on the front line of the culture war, it's time for another conceptual guerrilla report with your host, Joe Lyle. We started the National Guard Armory down to the back side of Capitol Hill. Uh, there were, oh, if they were lucky, 500 people. 500 people. Uh, we've got a shot of that for you. You can you can judge for yourself the crowd size. I'd call it at 500. And of course, we asked around to try and find some leadership. I'm looking for Adam Brandon. Uh, just walked in. He's actually right behind you. That's him. Right there. Thank you. Anyway, we uh, well, we went went looking to talk to some leaders and found a few. Talked to this fella, Brendan Steinhauser, and I'm not going to show you very much of him. I'm saving him for the big film. Meanwhile, we ran into a fella who I had seen before. I, I saw this guy. This guy was looking at me. I saw him looking at me. And he's looking at me, and I'm looking back, and I'm thinking, damn, that guy sure does look familiar. And then, so I walk over to him, and, and, and I thought I knew who he was. I thought he was a guy I saw seen in Orlando. So I went over to him, and I said, I, I, well, I here's what happened. I, I've already argued with you. Did I do? Was that Orlando? Yeah. Okay, I got it. All right, no problem. And uh, so, so I saw this guy in Orlando, talked to him some down in Orlando. Well, the next thing I know, this guy is standing behind me doing this. I got a shirt like that. He stood behind me doing that for all five, ten minutes. And after about five or ten minutes, sure enough, we grew a crowd. First, there was this guy. Some conservatives think that it's okay to lock people up down in Guantanamo Bay because the government says they're terrorists and not give them a hearing to prove they're not. Some people say that's okay. You know what? That's, that's and that's that, inconsistent. That question is so loaded and so wrong. What, he doesn't deal with the facts. The, the facts are, these guys are enemy combatants. Whoa, 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 no, 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 no. I listen to you. How do you, you listen to me? They, they're not picking people off the street. Did they pick you off the street and throw you in? Did they pick me? They're picking guys on the battlefield. They have no country. They have no uniform. They're fighting against the Geneva Convention, and they want to kill you. And they want to kill How me. How do you know all that about them? Well, you, in, unless you think that the government is going and plucking people out of the streets in Afghanistan, which I don't believe. Without we have the most disciplined military in the history of you, of the of, of mankind, the most disciplined military of mankind. Really? Yes. So you, the UN's the ones out you, there raping you, in Sudan. You just trust the military to say, he's a terrorist. Trust I trust him more than you. If, if you find a guy on a battlefield, yes. What do you do with them? They're not fighting under any. They're not fighting under any rules. They're not fighting. They're not fighting under any rules. And we're giving them. We're giving them Geneva Convention rights that we don't even have to because we're a good country. Yeah. We are not evil. America is not evil. No, you believe America is evil. Do you think America is great? I want to ask you a question. Is America great? America is the greatest country that ever was. Do you believe that? I can tell you believe that. Yeah. If See, you go to Germany and you ask a German, is Germany great? You'll say. And by the way, I, I love the fact Germany you can ask this question, but I have a feeling. I have a feeling was. that you really don't like this country. That's sad. Uh, you might like it, but I, I, I believe that you really, you really don't like this country. And that's sad. But I am glad you have the right to ask me the questions, and I am glad you know, that you're here you today. You know what? You're not really glad. I, mean, I am glad. I swear, I swear to you, I'm glad. And then we talked to a guy who was, well, downright ugly. But you're dumb as a brick and twice as good. All right. So is your president. Okay. All right. Have a nice day. Good to meet you. I would shake your hand and lift the stump. You're lowering the stump. All right. Okay. You're lowering stump. You know something? Why you're, is that? Your president's lowering stump, too, because are, he's trying to... Are all 62 million people who voted for him lowering the stump? They're stupid. Half the population of this country doesn't think. You know why they don't think? Because they have a source back them up. They have the ABC, CBS, and NBC. That's the only news they have. I got statistics. Oh, you're hot. That's thick, Paul. Shut up. And you done. 
Well, heck no, I don't. But I'm the one. You're the done. smart. You're the smartest person in the whole world. You and Acorn. You and Soros. Right. Why shucks? I do a good job up here. Get all it. From there, we went in, came into town to Upper Senate Park. It was the press conference scheduled for one o'clock at Upper Senate Park. We show up to the press conference, about the same size crowd, ballpark, uh, may, maybe a few less, but roughly about the same 500 people that were out at the armory. This event included some VIP speakers, including none other than the uh, executive director of Freedom Works himself, Dick Army. I wanted to try to get up with Dick Army. I, I, I want to interview Dick Army. And there he was on stage, so we basically worked our way around to the back of the stage to try to catch him and totally missed him. As we were working our way around to the back of the stage, we stopped and talked to some folks. While we're talking to folks, guess what? Guess who's following us around? He's dead. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna to give you all dead, but somebody will like it. It's our old friend from Orlando. Walking around, this guy is following us around, stalking us, basically. Following us around, whispering in people's ears. Okay. What's he whispering? Oh, by the time we were finished, by the time we were finished at the press conference event at one o'clock at Upper Senate Park, the word was on the street. We were acorn. Don't you guys got to rally the 12? Who? Acorn. Sir, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, sure you do. You're yeah. from Acorn. We know who you are. We're, we're fully aware who you are. So, I mean, loaded questions aren't going to work here. That's the way it was day one of our big trip, day one of the March on Washington. I'm Joe Lyles. Stay tuned for more reports from the front lines. These interviews are part of my video documentary. The title is Mega Dittos Exploring Rush Limbaugh's America. I've interviewed dozens of folks just like these, including organizers, precinct captains, party chairmen, legislators, and we're not finished. For the three days around 9-11, starting, starting Thursday, September 10th, and going through Saturday, September 12th, there will be hundreds anyway of teabaggers gathering in Washington, D.C. I need to be there. I need your help. Please consider taking a few minutes to visit cgradio.net or just use the PayPal button on this page and help us out with this project. I'm Joe Lyles. Stay tuned for the next report from the front line.